The table widget is one of the most used widgets on AppSmith and in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure server-side search for the table widget. My name is Confident and I'm a dev advocate at AppSmith. Without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so right here we have a simple application that has a table widget and what we have right now is data coming from the get users query. So let's go take a look at what we have in the get users query. So we have a get users query, which is a simple SQL query against the user's database that is hosted on Postgres. And uh, taking a look at the response, you can see that we have some users coming back and we have that data displayed in the table widget. So in order to configure server side search using the search input we have right here, we would need to modify the get users query a bit. And in order to do that, let's head back to the get users query and add a filter to perform the search. But before doing that, we would need to turn off prepared statement. So we have use prepared statement here. And while prepared statement adds a layer of security over your queries, but it cannot be used when you have dynamic bindings with um, keywords like select, where, and, and, and some other keywords. So we need to turn this off. All right, that's all we need to do. And we can go ahead to start writing the query. So this is going to be where name, because we want the table to be searchable by the name column is like, and then the data we want to actually pass into the search query. So this is going to be coming from table one dot search text. And right now it is empty because you can see the evaluated value pane, we have that empty. We also want to add some safeguards to make sure that the text can either start with the search term or can also end with the search term. And there we go, we have all of this configured. The last thing we need to do here is to go configure the table widget. So I'm just going to update the table widget a bit and scroll down to the actions section. All right, so we have the on search text change. And what we can do here is that whenever the search text change from the search input right here, we want to go call the get users query. So we want to execute a query and this is going to be the get users query. And that's all we need to do here. So we can actually start using the search functionality and we are sure that the search will be executed on the server side, which in this case is the database. So let's search for John and we can see users with the name John. We can also search for Sophie. And you can see users with the name Sophie showing up right here. So this is how easy it is to configure server-side search on the table widget. And you can also go make this more advanced. You can configure filters for the columns and make things really nice for your end users. So this will be all for today's video. If you have any questions, please do ask in the comment section and I'll be sure to take your questions. All right, so I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.